Class actions offer an efficient way to resolve cases if there are many parties with overlapping claims. To receive this special treatment, plaintiffs must prove their case is appropriate for class action certification. In Butler v. Sears, five differently designed washing machines caused customers similar problems. Were the customers' claims suitable for class action certification? From 2001 to 2004, Sears offered several models of Kenmore brand washing machines. The front-loading design promised energy efficiency and reduced water usage. But with these machines, not everything came out in the wash. Customers owned models spanning five different redesigns, but they complained of two common defects. The first was mold in the drum. The machines used very little water and washed at temperatures ripe for microbes. The customers complained that machines molded and stunk. The second issue was control unit failure. A central panel of circuitry gave instructions to the machine's moving parts. A faulty production technique damaged this central panel, leading the machines to perceive a serious error and shut down, even though nothing was wrong. Customers, including Larry Butler, sued Sears for breach of warranty. The customers asked the court to certify or approve the case for treatment as a class action. The customers proceeded as two separate groups. Those stuck with smelly, moldy machines sought to form one class of plaintiffs. Those stuck with the control unit issue sought to form a separate class. The district court denied class certification to the plaintiffs, complaining about the mold. However, the district court granted class certification to the plaintiffs, complaining about the control unit problem. The mold plaintiffs appealed the denial of class certification. Sears cross-appealed the certification of the control unit class.